you know soccer it's like my one love friends like also friends mm. like Kwabi. <laughs> you know like, won a couple championships a big tragedy happened so i just sit at a desk to you. Mm. Just sit at a desk to you. that's really dope bro so today you brought a camera with you so yes. talk to me about that because i you have a, a new instagram or a second instagram a second you know, instagram because your first one was already lit as it is <laughs> um shot by nickel tell me about that how did that come about like how did that inspire to you so this is probably like one of the most random things that ever happened in my life <laughs> no word of a lie like i i love being in front of the camera mm -hmm. but i never thought i'd get behind a camera right you know what i mean so the way this happened was say last year um my good friend coops mm -hmm. who is all one of the best photographers i met in my life mm -hmm. he so he i want to say he inspired me to start doing photography mm -hmm. you know what i mean like just to see the just to see the pictures he was taking the quality of the pictures he was taking the way he was editing the pictures and everything mm -hmm. i i've always like i said i've always been the person to be in front of the camera right but after seeing, after doing a couple shoots with him and you know what I mean? Seeing mm -hmm. the quality of the images he was taking, I was like, yo, you know, maybe I will, maybe this is something that I can do in my spare time. Like, I never thought I'd be doing photo shoots and everything. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I just wanted a camera just to have, just to capture moments. I'm, yeah. I'm a moment type of guy. Right, right, You know right, what right, I mean? Right. Like, okay, okay. If you, if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on mm -hmm. Snapchat, like, if I'm at a party, I'm the camera, I'm yeah, on yeah, the yeah. phone. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sure. recording videos, everything. So I was like, you know what? Let me try and let me let me just get a camera just to get a camera. Right. So I bought my first camera the end of twenty nineteen, mm -hmm. December. Um never really had intentions of, like I said, doing anything crazy with it. Yeah. I just wanted it just to bring it around, yeah. like bring it around whenever I was capture with the Mandem or whatever stuff. the case is, capture yeah. moments, whatever. Just so we have those memories. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. because it's 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 nice to live a memory. But when you when you have that memory in in fr like in frame, yeah, you can live you can live that memory for yeah. as long as you want. That's you know pretty what I mean? sick, man. I never I never thought about like so that. like yeah. that's 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 what I see. That's what I that's the reason why I picked up a camera really. Mm -hmm. Um, it was just so I can capture moments and so that those moments can live on for as long as that picture is there for. You right, know what I mean? right, hundred percent. So the first time I picked up a camera was Coop's birthday. <laughs> Obviously. He's the photographer for all of the our party events. Yeah. So it's his birthday. Yeah. You can't you obviously can't, can't take pictures for his pic birthday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has to be lit. Yeah. For sure. So they're just asking around. Anybody wanted to take pictures? The camera was there. I was yeah. just like, you know what? I'll do it. Yeah. I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> I did not know anything about anything. I did not know about exposure. I did not know about shutter speed. I didn't know about any of these terminologies. Like I needed you. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I did not know about anything. So I'm like, I'm just there, yeah. you know, just, all right, you want a picture? Yeah. Just right. click, click. <laughs> Coops, uh, Coops will figure it out later. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, he'll do it. Coops will do it. Good. I mean, I'm just capturing the moment. But yeah, like, yeah. So basically, yeah, I was taking pictures for this guy's birthday. You know what I mean? I had to be on my, I had to be on the camera. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure I was getting pictures. I had to be doing all that. I ended up, we ended up getting the, pic, the event finished. We ended up giving, I gave Coops back his camera. They were going through the pictures and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I get a message saying that um, the pictures are lit. <laughs> so in our group chat, these guys mm -hmm. send a message out saying, "Yo, Ian, like these pictures are lit." Like I'm mm -hmm. like, Wait, "My pictures?" <laughs> like I just, uh, I'm like, yeah, I was, I was like, I, I had no clue what I was doing. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, "There's no way my pictures are lit." Mm -hmm. Boom! I ended up seeing the friggin', I ended up seeing the um, the photo album. Mm -hmm. I was, I'm looking at the photo album. I'm like, "Yo, like, these pictures are actually impressive." Yeah. Like, I actually did a really good job. Like, mind you, I didn't edit none of them. <laughs> was the cool, that was all cool. Shout out to him. But, mm -hmm. like, I'm looking at these pictures. I'm like, yo, these pictures are impressive. Like, I actually did a pretty good job. But people were messing with them. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, like, like, whatever. Like, you know, let me get a camera. At this point, yeah. I'm like, let me get a camera. Like, just to yeah. have it. Like, I'll, like I said, like, I didn't have any intentions on doing anything crazy. I just wanted a camera. Yeah. So now we fast forward to December. I boom, I get my camera. Uh, January comes, I'm like, okay, like, you know, you have this camera now, you can, you can take whatever pictures you want to take, you, you know, like, are you, and then at the same time, I still ask myself, like, is this something that you're going to, um, you're going to want to do, Right. you know what I mean? Like, are you going to take this seriously or is this mm -hmm. just going to be another thing that another hobby that you pick up that you don't know if you want to, yeah. you want to continue? And then, so <clears throat> I, whatever, I start taking pictures, I start posting a couple pictures, and I'm starting to get good feedback from people. Mm -hmm. 
people are like, messing with the pictures they and like i said like i picked up the camera for the in moment sort of thing right yeah people are starting to look back at it look at the pictures and they're starting to like the lifestyle pictures they're like they like the off guards and you know what mm-hmm. i mean so people are giving me feedback on it saying how they like they're liking the pictures that i'm capturing and everything and obviously now i have friends in that are obviously in different fields like i have mm-hmm. friends that are in clo- that have clothing brands i have friends that are musicians yeah. i have you know friends that are in parties and stuff or that throw parties um so these people are now asking me like yo like do you want to do something like collab yeah, in some way that's pretty sick and at this point i'm like okay like now you're gonna have to step your game up <laughs> for sure you know what i mean like yeah this like this little hobby that you were gonna do is now turning into a big thing. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm nowhere near big right now, but like mm-hmm. to me, the where I've came in a, in a year, mm-hmm. I consider that big. You know yeah, what I mean? Going coming yeah. from like, and we're not even a full year. Like, th- th- the end of this month will be a full year. Mm-hmm. So, like, where I've came, where I started at, just not knowing what I was gonna do with this camera, to yeah. uh, now I'm here booking photo shoots mm-hmm. and here actually getting paid for the work that i'm actually putting in yeah like i said i went from not knowing what i was gonna do to now i'm something that i know that i want to take seriously yeah you know what i mean and like i said i'm still learning it's i'm only a year in mm-hmm. there's still a lot a lot a lot to learn yeah but where i've came where i started and where i came where i started from and where i am right now i can yeah. definitely say um i came a pretty decent way that's good bro that's pretty dope so with that, like, have you gained a passion for it, like, in regards to it? Honestly, I definitely still love being in front of the camera more than behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, no, I definitely, I'm definitely growing a passion for it. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to learn to actually, like, love it. Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, it's my work. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, I'm, it, it's my way of creating art. Mm-hmm. I've never been an art guy. Yeah. Like, even in high school and whatnot, mm-hmm. like, I was never into art or anything. Like, yeah. I was all about my sports. Yeah. But this camera is definitely showing me something different you know what mm-hmm. i mean like just seeing the the images that you can get just seeing the content you can create just mm-hmm. seeing all the different things i definitely i can definitely say that it's definitely taught me some things yeah it's definitely opened my eyes to a lot more and it's definitely made me be able to appreciate art in a different way now mm. it's you a good mindset I mean? to look at it that's pretty dope so like who or what motivates you to keep pushing on and keep doing like you had your injuries your two injuries you know the soccer career picking up a new camera there's probably some hard times you're like yo i'm too tired i'm too lazy so like what motivates you and keep pushing you to keep doing what you're doing what motivates me honestly my like i said before when even with soccer like my family definitely motivates me my Mm -hmm. family always accepts like i'm probably the most random kid in my house Mm -hmm. i'm the one that likes to dabble here dabble there take risk you know what i mean like that's me in my house Mm -hmm. um but what definitely i just great friends Mm -hmm. you know a good support team behind me they definitely help me keep going like Mm -hmm. especially like in within like the last two years um with the lot with the loss of like one of my close 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 friends Mm -hmm. um it was a hard it was that was definitely like one of the lowest points for me yeah and like even even now like i'm not even i'm not gonna say that i'm not at a low point i've Mm -hmm. obviously you know had two years to try and recover off that low point right but there's still hard times when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to thinking about what happened and everything Mm -hmm. but i can definitely say that that is a driving factor for me because Mm -hmm. at the end of the day with the whole with if you know like if like if you know you know yeah um with that whole situation like i hear i hear jk in my head almost every week almost a couple times a day right. you know what i mean just telling me like when i know that i'm dying down i can hear him say like bro or just his master line yo dickhead <laughs> like keep going yeah, you know yeah, what i mean like sure. and even with his brother like when i see his brother and stuff and like just the like the way his brother goes about himself and stuff like since this whole situation happened like Mm -hmm. he definitely like those two like those two guys like as much as they i like i do tell them or i tell omar now but like those guys definitely keep me going just because i i see i I can i've seen what i see what he's going through Mm -hmm. and i see 
how he's going about what he's going through and how he's still pushing and how he's still doing things. Mm -hmm. And I know if he can still do that, then me, a thousand percent, I can definitely push twice as hard. You know what I mean? And like I said, like, he's one of the main people that get get me going. But like I said, I have great friends. I have Mm -hmm. great family. Everybody that I I associate myself with Mm -hmm. pushes me and drives me in some sort of way. Yeah. And I, I might not share it with them at all times yeah but like they all keep me going in some sort of way mm-hmm. and I, I appreciate all of them for that that's pretty dope man i like that so like what would be your final message and piece that you would give to someone that you know that loves sports had an injury bounced back got injured again you know found a new passion in the camera like if there's someone out there you can give a message to what would you tell that person honestly like this message even even if you haven't played sports even if you haven't if you have a if you have a passion or you have a drive Go for it. Mm-hmm. Don't look back. Don't listen to anybody. And I, people are going to tell you this growing up. But like when people tell you this, listen to them. Go for what you want to go for. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the more you doubt yourself or the more people you let people doubt you and put doubt in your head, the more it's going to hold you back. Like, like I said, like I never thought I'd be picking up a camera. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I picked up the camera. It was a, It's something that I didn't think I was going to do. And... Like I said, I have great friends. They all supported me doing it, and they've all helped me drive through it. But it was me. I was the first person that said, yo, I'm mm-hmm. going to do this. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I told myself, like, this is what it is. This is what you want to do right now. So continue to do it to see where it takes you. So my message to everybody, yeah, just don't look back. Keep going forward. That's sick, man. That's really dope, bro. And that, we're going to cut that over here. It's your boy, JJ, a.k.a. Vinci. If you know me, shout out to Nanko and the cut as well. You know what it is. Peace Thank out. you for having me. Over here, draft picked.